Hello friends and welcome. In today's video we're going to be talking about uh, updates to the risk management professional exam. Now I don't know if you're aware but the Project Management Institute is in the process of updating the RMP exam and they're expecting to roll out the new exam sometime around April of 2022. So if you want to take the current exam, you've got plenty of time to do that. But I just wanted to take a moment in this video to talk about what will be different in the new exam. So if you go over to the PMI website and just do a search on the RMP exam updates, you'll land on this page. Let's scroll down. And here's the section that I really want to focus on the upcoming changes to the RMP. So there are a few things that I want to make you aware of. First of all, if you come on down a little bit here and you'll see this exam content outline, <clears throat> this is the pilot exam content outline. So if we go here and we uh, open up this document and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of this document because on page 20 here they actually share reference materials <clears throat> and I, I want to look at this because it gives us some good indications of things that are going to be different in the new exam. First of all I want to highlight that they are now referring us to the PMBOK Guide 6 edition, the 6th edition now, that's not to say that you couldn't have questions <laughs> based on the seventh edition, but in the reference materials, they're now pointing us to the PMBOK Guide sixth edition. The other really important thing here is they are pointing us to the newer risk standard. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but there's actually two uh, risk standards from PMI. There was one that was published way back in 2009 called the practice standard for project risk management and that is the standard that you should be studying today if you're planning to take the current exam for the new exam they are now referring us to the standard for risk management in portfolios programs and projects this one was published back in 2000 19. So it is the newer of the two standards. But here's what this tells me. If you take the new exam, you're going to, to start to see questions not only related to project risk management, but managing risk in our portfolios as well as managing uh, risk in our programs. And I don't know about you, but I'm really glad to see that they're headed in that direction. So let's go back here um, to this section about upcoming changes. Uh, another thing that I see here is that they're now beginning to talk about enterprise level risk. Now I've had the privilege of implementing enterprise risk management programs for two different companies and here's another uh, thing that I'm very excited to see from PMI is that they're now beginning to emphasize the importance of enterprise risk management and the connection of our projects and our programs and our portfolios. I mean, think about it this way. At an enterprise level, there's a mission, there's a vision for every organization, and there are risks that are there. Many of our projects and programs are birthed out of the identification of risk at an enterprise level. And so now uh, in the new RMP exam, you're going to begin to see some questions related to uh, ERM or enterprise risk management. What else is going to be different? Well, the first sentence here says the new exam will cover updated terminology and processes. Now, what this tells me is that now there's going to be better alignment to the PMBOK Guide 6 edition. Uh, frankly, uh, 
the old risk standard, the one of 2009, if you look at it, <laughs> that risk standard is aligned with the fourth, uh, fourth edition of the PMBOK guide. So uh, it's really a good thing now PMI is updating uh, this exam to be have better alignment, more updated terminology and processes that we see in the PMBOK guide six edition. So let's move on. What else is different? Uh, first of all, they do mention here the exam's going to be the same length, so it's the same number of questions. However, what you're going to see in some of the multiple choice questions are multiple select questions. So you could have a multiple choice question and there may be uh, two of the answers that are right or three of the answers that are right. Uh, also, we're going to see uh, new questions related to project life cycles. So we may have questions based on predictive uh, uh, hybrid or agile types of life cycles. Uh, other terminology there might be uh, waterfall life cycle. Um, so expect those kinds of questions on the new exam. Also, if you look here, uh, you'll see the, the five uh, domains, and these domains are somewhat different than what we've seen in the previous exam content outline. Uh, again, if you want to see the details of all of this, if you download the RMP pilot exam content outline, it will give you uh, the details. But here are the five uh, new domains risk strategy and planning, risk identification, risk analysis, risk response, and monitor and close risk. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop those below. If you have any comments about what I've shared today, I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, I uh, hope your projects are going well and that you are uh, leading in an effective manner as project managers and project risk managers. Take care now.